Hello and welcome to Scorch Your Toys at AnyMoon.com's transformation guide for Hasbro's MP04 Prowl toy. This transformation guide would obviously also work for Takara Tomy's MP17 Prowl, uh, but we are going to start in bot mode and work our way to vehicle mode since that's the way the Hasbro toy is packaged. Uh, the Hasbro toy does come with instructions, but they assume that the toy came in bot mode in typical Hasbro not knowing what the hell it's doing fashion. So, to begin. Let's bring our arms out a little bit to make sure that they stay out of the way. And we are going to pivot at the waist, just rotate everything around like so. Now, we do not need the shoulder cannons for vehicle mode. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this back. We are going to rotate the shoulder cannons down. And we are going to bring out the center of the hood, just unfolding it like so and keep that kind of pivoted back that's going to help you guide your feet movement all right now you're going to pull the windows up you can see there's a pivot and a pivot you just rotate the windows up and bring it free do that on both sides here rotate those up and now there's two pivot points within the knee that you could see thanks to this giant cavity you could you should Bring the knee up, rotating at that point and at that point so that they get pretty close to being in line with that uh, windscreen and the roof of the car. And just bring them up. And there you can see I've got everything fairly close to where it's going to need to be. And that tells me I've got the knees bent to the proper position. All right, turning my attention to the bottom of the feet, I'm gonna go ahead and just fold down the exhaust pipe and this other black piece here. Uh, and then I'm going to pop open the ridges between the feet. So let's make sure you can see, there's a little plastic ridge here. I'm just gonna pull that open like so. And then that frees up uh, the double twist point to bring up the feet to the outside and around. So this is the trickiest part probably. You can see there's this part moving here. And it's then that allows that twist point to the outside, which you use to watch out for this piece in here. You gotta tuck that in. And then that will come up tight. I'll lock everything in place in a moment here, but again. There's this black piece here that rotates inward and then that allows you to use the white piece. You know, bring that in and then the white pivot. Turning our attention to the back. There's the double pivot going on right there. And now you can see I've got peg, peg, peg that I could bring all together to lock the back half of the vehicle into place. Let's see. There we go. Okay, now here's the bottom of the car, or the front of the bot mode. I'm gonna bring these uh, pieces down so that wraps up the back of the car. Uh, and now I'm going to rotate the arms out and around. To get them out of the way here and now I'm going to apply pressure upward on the front of the car to pop the tab that is very difficult to see uh, but it is locking this chest piece to the uh, front of the vehicle uh, and for this reason you don't want to have anything kind of locked in back here this should be loose because uh, you're about to swing this back around and you don't want to damage anything right so so now I'm just going to try to pop this free. And there it goes. Now you saw that that was not easy. There was a lot of pressure involved, which again is why you don't want to have anything locked in together uh, when you're doing that step of popping uh, the front of the car out of that peg. Okay, now that that peg is free, you can open up this chest cavity and you can rotate the arms at this pivot point above the shoulders forward and you've freed up kind of the front of the vehicle 
You want to make sure that your uh, weapons bay here aren't getting caught on anything. So there you can see the rotation. Uh, and now we can do a couple things. Let's straighten out the doors. And we can actually bring them back and get them out of the way. And then there's these pieces in the center below the head. We can just fold those out. There's, again, there's a double pivot point. So you need to get the angle right and then it'll lock into place. And now you can see you have those front mirrors where they need to be. If you've, if you've got a little bit of a gap, you can fine tune that now. Uh, and now once that's done, you have the ability to rotate the head back inside. So uh, we are awfully close. Now would be a good time to start pegging things together. So you have pegs in the front of the car. You have pegs at the doors, uh, and you have this piece which will pop into place. So let's go ahead. Now one tricky thing here is that the windows will try to uh, get inside of your doors. So get, again, make sure you've got your weapons inside just right. So there's that peg getting into place. And then this peg here. And now I can bring the hood down. Again, make sure. Everything should just nice, nicely snug into place. You might have to do a little wiggle jiggling like I just did, but here you can see the top shell of the car is now formed. Okay, your car should look something like this at this point. Uh, we can bring this chest piece down forward. We can bring these arms in, like so. Uh, and then what we want to do is just rotate them around. And you have a peg and a slot. And you want to make sure your elbows are nice and tight. And you're going to form one front cohesive unit here. And then you can just push forward on that. You want to rotate right here. It's got to get around that hump here, so you might have to put them back together after you get past that ch chest peg. Uh, and now what your aim is to do is to fit these two slots into these two pegs. So you want to bring everything forward and then lock it into place. And when you're done, the car should roll on its own, uh, really with nothing dragging. So uh, things will be real close, but you shouldn't have anything drag. When you get to vehicle mode, there's oftentimes a little bit of fine tuning you're gonna have to do. Uh, the shoulder weapons inside the cab might be pointed upward so you might want to pop a door open and poke that down so you don't see it so much when you look straight on on the vehicle. Uh, the windows oftentimes get caught behind the door. Uh, that's no good. That causes pressure in the wrong spots and your seams not to fit right. So if that happens, just pop the door open, push the window out and up a little bit, and then close the door so the window sits on top of the door. Uh, you might have tolerance problems. This car, if transformed perfectly, will not drag, but it only has about a paper's width of clearance between it and the ground. If your front wheels are dragging, or if the front wheels are rubbing on the uh, wheel well, try to press your thumb against the front here, and then pull out towards the back. Uh, you want to keep that pegged in, but sometimes you can get the angle here to be too extreme, and that causes your wheels not to be able to spin freely. Uh, there's also very low points back near back tires, uh, so those uh, very very likely is going to rub somewhere because again, if everything's absolutely perfect, you have maybe a paper's width of clearance from the ground. All right, thanks for checking out my transformation guide. Be sure you check out my full review on anymoon.com. Thanks for viewing.